Hello there. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, Arnoldo. Hello, Wendy. Ana. Oscar. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Hope hello. you're doing well. Hello, hello. Good nice evening. to see you. Hello, Carlos. You have a new hairstyle, right? You cut your hair yesterday. I imagine. I know this yesterday. Uh huh. And Arnoldo, the same, but Arnoldo, like three days ago. You look different with your with your hair short. This is my look, but uh, I lose ah. a challenge. Uh, <laughs> that is why you didn't. So mm -hmm. I, I don't cut my hair for three months. Uh, because of the bet, una apuesta. It was a bet. I lose, I lose a challenge. You lost the challenge. So I imagine that it was terrible for you to have I, your I hair have, long. I had a, a, head, a headache for, for two months. I see. Yes, you look different with the hair like that. Okay. Welcome, everyone. I will take the attendance. So let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here. Okay. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Present. Thank you. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Nelson. Ajirmes. Thank you. Here. Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. And Jenny Suleyma. Jenny, no, not here yet. Okay, so let's let's begin. We are going to start with a crossword. Let me share the screen. Uh, okay, here we have the crossword. We have different vocabulary about food, about restaurants, and we have to complete, complete the crossword. Tenemos que completarlo utilizando los nombres, the names of the different things that you see here. For example, let's begin with Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna, can you help us with number one? Number one, this is the number one you can one. have here. Four words. It's not about it. <laughs> okay, let me, cook. let me. Cook. Cook. That could be one possibility. Any other idea? Chef. Uh, chef. Uh huh, chef. That's the that's the one I have here, chef. Thank you. Now let's go with Saira. Saira, please help us with number ten. Number ten. We have chef. Number ten is. Give me one more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Number ten. What is the name of that, Saira? With 10 letters. The number 10? Imagine, uh, okay. Potato, no. <clears throat> Potato? No. Is that potato? Ten words. Mm 
No, teacher. Okay. A volunteer who can help us with number 10. What is the word? Customer. Customer. Aha, uh -huh. that's the one. Thank you, Nelson. And yes, Galileo. Aha, uh -huh. you thought the same. I don't know if I can I can type here, but yes. Thank you. Now let's continue with number 14. Wendy, could you help us with that one? Number 14. And it contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Number 14. <laughs> here. 14. In the corner. No, 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 se no. no. Okay. Fourteen. Letter. No. One, two, Number three. eight letters. Está largo. Ajá. Pues tres quince. Waiter. Oh, waiter. Wait, wait, uh -huh. Waiter. Waiter. Is waitress. Waitress. For women. Uh -huh. Waitress. Thank you. That's the one, Anna. Okay, now let's continue with Arnoldo. Okay, Arnoldo number six. Do you have an idea? Number six. It contains one, two, three, four, one word. One, two, three, four, five, six, the next word. Two words, number six. Mm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Full head, full headly. No, it's not that one, but thank you. Thank you, Arnoldo. And you guys, do you have other ideas? Number six, two words. And you have the picture here. So no, no, Wendy, Meat. but thank you. Meat. 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 Mm -hmm. But it has to be two, two words, pero lleva dos palabras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number what? Six. Number six. Six. Ah, sorry. Uh -huh. Y aquí está la picture. On the right corner at the bottom. Other ideas? Me. Ellie, ideas? Maybe beans. Beans, no. Tiene, contiene dos beans. palabras. La primera es de cuatro y la otra es de six. Sí, six. Main courses. That's the one, Nelson. Ajá. Uh -huh. Main course. Thank you. Ok, y lo podemos comprobar. Main. 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 And the other one, curse. But I don't do it because it's kind of um, kind of difficult with the computer. Main curse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six words. That's the one. Thank you. Now let's continue with number two. Can you help us with that one, Laura? Number two. It contains, here you have the picture. You have the picture here. And it contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. Number two. Number two, the star number two. The can, the can, the como the can the can why the canteen the canteen uh -huh. uh -huh. but no it's not no. the one another possibility beverage teacher 
Beverage. That's no, the one. Okay. Ya sabe cuál es esa, Laura. Beverage. Beverage. Uh, drink. Or, uh -huh. or drink. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. yes, that's the one. Okay, let's continue with number 13. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, number 13. Carlos, can you help us? 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah. Salad. Salad. That's the one. Okay, number four. Can you continue with that one? Let me see, Brian. Number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Cake. No, that one contains four letters. Any other possibility? Dessert. 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 Uh huh. Dessert. That's the one. Dessert. Thank you. Lily, number three. Number three, it's here. Four letters, Lily. Number three. Coffee. Coffee. No, pero es la, la número tres. No se ve. And now? Can you see it now? Menu. Mm -hmm. That was the one. Menu. Okay. Menu. Menu. <laughs> the menu. Okay, thank you. I'm going to send, well, I'm going to type uh, a frequency, I'm sorry, an adverb or a sequence word in the whiteboard and please make a sentence. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review today about eh, connectors and woods. Ahora vamos a hacer un review de eso. And tomorrow, comparatives. We're going to study comparatives tomorrow for two hours with a lot of activities. Okay, please make a sentence using suddenly. Okay, vamos a, a hacer un review. I'm going to put the, the word here. Yo les pongo aquí la palabra. And you use the chat. And you send one sentence. Using suddenly. Okay. I'm going to give you a moment. Vamos a usar el, el cronómetro. The stopwatch. And we will have up to... One minute. Okay, dijimos number one, suddenly. One sentence using suddenly. It's raining suddenly. And yes, that could be, that could be one. It's, Suddenly, but remember you have to, you need to have two. Necesitamos dos sentences. Como it's raining suddenly, but what was the other activity, Juan Carlos? What were you doing when it started to rain? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. And you guys, time is up. Solo este, tengo una sentence en el chat. Y los demás, do you still remember, Ellie? ¿Se recuerdan de Sonali? Zaira. Teacher, pero aquí en el traductor me dice que es repentinamente. Mm -hmm. No es eso. Sí. Yes. Mm, una sentence, sentence puede ser I sorry change to opinion of opinion. Yeah, that could be one possibility. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try again. Vamos con otra palabra. You have one minute to send the sentence. Okay, let's use the word at the end at the end and here you have 
the time. Please use the chat so I can read the sentence at the end. Thank you, Galileo. That's that's correct. Thank you, Oscar. Uh -huh, correct. Okay, Yeli. Thank you. Time is up. Time is up. I got. Uh -huh. Okay, Wendy. That will work. Uh -huh. Thank you, Laura, correct. Next one, next word. Now we are going to use however. However, one minute, starting now. Correct, Galileo. I, I, I imagine is I feel, I feel sad, Oscar. Time is up. Okay, you can stop. I feel sad, Oscar. Or what do you mean? Is that correct? And then. Okay, Omar, that, that one works. And then, aha, uh -huh, Oscar. What do you mean in your sentence? I felt so. But I don't hear you. I don't know if this is what you meant. I felt sad. Okay, I just had that confusion, but thank you, Oscar. And then Juan Carlos, aha, uh -huh, correct. Eh, Maria Concepcion, yes, so, so. I will tell you a little bit more about that one. Zaira, we have to work on that one too. We will check it. Uh -huh, Laura, correct. Um, Brian, we will work on that one too. Yes, Arnoldo, we're fine. Thank you. Let's continue with the next one. Afterwards, one minute. One sentence, please, with afterwards. Wendy, I, I felt sad. Uh -huh. I felt sad yesterday. Jenny, correct.
Thank you, Galileo. Afterwards. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. We will, we will check that one. Okay, time is up. And now, now the last one. This is the last one. Then, please send me one sentence using the word then. And the one with afterwards, Wendy was correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ali, it was good. Galileo, is it like she, when she comes back, is it in past tense, Galileo, your sentence? She went? Yes. Ah, okay. Maybe you can say she came back. She came, came back, back from, from the US and then she went to church. Okay, thank you, Galileo. Super. It's okay. Time's up. Thank you for sending the sentence. Es un pequeño review para ver qué tanto recordamos, cómo las utilizamos, para ver si, cómo estamos. Okay, so I'm going to give you some feedback. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review y vamos a practicarlas un poquito más. Ok. Um, some things I saw. Si la buscan literalmente, ¿verdad? En, en su dictionary. Eh, sí, es como, es como de repente esta palabra. You need to talk about two actions. Tienen que hablar de dos activities. For example, I was sleeping suddenly I heard a noise okay something was happening and then something else happened two activities afterwards afterwards you need two activities afterwards. It means immediately after, right? That is what it means. When you talk about sequence, afterwards se utiliza para dar conexión de una acción con la otra. Y también necesitamos two activities. En algunos, en algunos comentarios solo había una, una actividad. Y necesitan dos. For example, we will go to the park afterwards. We will return home. Okay. It connects two ideas. Conectan dos ideas. The way you see it here. Two activities. And the other one, however, however, what does it mean? It means but, right? It means but, two activities. I want to go to watch Spider-Man. However, however, I don't have time, okay? Son conectores de ideas. Entonces, cuando los utilicen, recuerden de utilizar dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, si le dan un vistazo a las oraciones que enviamos, alguna solo era una actividad y... ¿Dónde va la posición? ¿Dónde se pone? Se pone como en medio para conectar esas dos ideas. To connect two ideas. Ok. So, just that little feedback. Now, talking about this. Ok. 
Okay, to show sequence. Sequence. Okay, to show sequence, we have different, different words. O sea, tenemos diferentes palabras para, para mostrar secuencia. Okay, first, Laura se recuerda de algunos sinónimos para decir first. Other words we can use. Otras palabras que lleven el mismo significado que first. Because for Bob. Because, mm, no. Any other option? Otra palabra que uh, se at, parece. At the beginning. At the beginning, uh, ajá. ¿Se le hace ahora? First, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. At the at beginning. beginning. Uh, uh -huh. Start. Start. Uh -huh. Ajá, algo así. Any other idea? Algo de start, es que no sé si es start, iniciar, veo, start, o sea, um, pronunciar. In, in the start, in the start, could be oh, one possibility. Okay. Okay. ok, otra palabra que dé esa idea. Do you remember other ones? One, one more, no. Okay, do you remember Anna? Uh, first of all. First of all, uh -huh. correct. That's another one, thank you. Solo estamos recordando, right? Just, just a little review, first of all. Okay, and then the middle, cuando vamos como a la mitad. Okay, for example, we have the word then, y hay otras que dan ese mismo meaning. Okay, can you give me other ideas, Nelson, for then, a synonym? Next. Next. Uh -huh. Hola. Thank Hello. you. Hi, Nelson. Se recuerda de otra palabra que se parezca a then, para hablar de, yeah. de una continuación. Oscar mencionó yeah. algunas, dijo next. Ten, eh. No, if not, that's okay. No, no it's okay. No. I'm sorry. Third. Uh -huh. Maybe so. Which one? So. So. Mm, yes, that could work. That could work. Thank you. La utilizamos también para dar como resultado de algo que pasó. But thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Then, ok. Thank you, Galileo. So we have also in addition. Do you remember more? More ideas? After that. After, after, after that. Words, uh -huh. After words, later. Thank you. Afterwards, later. Okay, thank you. So there we have some ideas. Hopefully. And now, however, yes, that's another connector. Thank you, Brian. And then to show the conclusion, we have one. Okay, this is one possibility. Finally, do you have other ideas? Ellie, other ideas to say finally? Are you there, Ellie? No? Galileo, do you remember other ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, also in addition. Uh, but for the end, para la parte final, para cerrar un, okay. una secuencia. Uh, at the end, finally, uh, in uh -huh. conclusion. Correct. In conclusion. Thank you. Any other one that you guys remember? Creo que todavía les digo una más. Last. Last. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ah, pues todavía hay otra. Do you, do you remember another one? In late teacher. Late. To, su to summarize. Uh -huh. To summarize, that's another option. Thank you. 
Finish. <laughs> okay, and lastly, lastly, it's another possibility. Okay, entonces aquí hay algunas palabras que aprendimos durante estas dos semanas, because we started last week, right? Okay, and then a little review about would like, would, would be better, I'm sorry. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review de would be better. Do you have questions? Y ahorita podemos responder preguntas sobre would be better. Was there something you didn't understand? ¿Hay alguna duda de algo que no, no quedó claro? ¿O no se recuerdan? The would be, would be better, would be good. Or clear. It's clear. Okay, perfect. So just a little review, just to refresh your mind. We have would be good to. Tenemos también would be good if. And then would be better to. Would be better if, wouldn't it be good or better to, and then you complement the idea. And we sure. also, yes, Brian? Uh, maybe will be idea. Would be a good idea. Yes, that's another good option. Idea. Thank you. These, these are different possibilities. We're going to add that one. It would be a good idea to, and then you continue. You have all those options, okay? You have all those options to talk about suggestions or recommendations. Okay, if you don't have questions, we will start to practice. Si no tienen dudas, pues comenzamos ya a practicar esto, to review it. Laura, good, ready? En sus marcas, listos? No questions, ready. Laura. Ready, no ready. Questions. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ok, let's practice, ¿verdad? Porque a veces eso es lo que uno necesita más, practice. A veces uno ya lo sabe, pero hay que practicarlo. I have some activities to practice that. Vamos a empezar con la primera. You have to use your imagination. Okay, you have to use your imagination. Just give me one second. This is what we are going to do. Create a story using the following words. Okay, create a story using the following words. And I'm going to give you five words. Number one, castle. Number two, lady. Number three, Restaurant, number four, knife, and number five, cell phone. We are going to create a story. How many words? 50. The story needs to contain at least 50 words. And we have different different genres. Vamos a tener diferentes géneros para esa historia. We have terror, we have terror stories, adventure stories, it could be a romantic story, and investigation. Funny. Oh yes, comedy, right? Comedy, we also have that. Okay, so what are you going to do? In groups of three, you have to do that. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a crear una historia. Van a utilizar su imaginación. 
y van a crear una historia. Utilizando, tienen que llevar estas palabras que tienen acá. Tiene que llevar también eh, sequence words. Vamos a, a utilizar estas palabras. De estas, o pueden usar however, suddenly, las palabras que, que estudiamos. Los connectors. And you have to choose a genre. Les voy a dar a que ustedes escojan el género. If it's going to be terror, adventure, investigation, love, you choose. Do you have questions? Teacher, you can, mm -hmm. you can tell me what the man castle. Castle. A knife, yes. Castle. Castle is where a princess lives, where the princess lives. Es un castillo. Castle. Okay. ¿Cuál era la otra? Sorry, Brian. Knife. Knife. Cuchillo. Knife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, ponga, ponga por favor la, la, la imagen anterior. That one or the one here? Esa, esa. Take notes. Thank of you. The, you're welcome. Take notes of the words because remember that you will use them. I'm going to have them here. Okay, I'm going to create the rooms. Ma'am. Yes, Galileo. We're going to use just one genre or only one genre. I don't know okay. if that is possible, so just let's go with <laughs> one genre. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. And there are 19 of you, right? Okay, please open the invite. Elena está acá. Jonathan está de oyente todavía. Está enfermito, me imagino. Ok. Oscar, are you there? Ah, ok, Elena. Ok, you're busy. Oh, what we can do it, but I I need Hi. we need to imagine. How creative are you? Do you like terror stories? Romantic, romantic stories. The romantic. Cell phone. <laughs> it's interesting his, uh, history. It's gonna be interesting. You have to be creative. <laughs> I you think. Have to be creative. I think going to a romantic history. Uh -huh. Or think about a story, maybe a movie that you watch and just try to put it. Uh -huh. Remember, you have to use connectors, okay? Try to use them in 50 words. Tienen un, ¿verdad? un número de, de palabras, 50 words. Es poco, realmente es poco. It's not, not a lot. So, uh -huh. 50, okay. 50, uh -huh. I'm gonna try. Okay. Van a ser ahorita writers. <laughs> okay. For movies. We're gonna, gonna try. 
<laughs> okay. Well, if you need me, let me know. Okay. okay I'll, I'll come back. Okay. See you. Okay. In yes. Once upon a time. That is yes. the word. Hello. <laughs> the question. How are you doing? How is your imagination going? ¿Qué va, ¿Cómo va la imaginación? Iniciando. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Do you need Stop. help? In a, at the, be, at the be, beginning. <laughs> ah, y ahí ya utilizan una. That's the once upon a time. But this is... This is the... The word once upon a time. Yes, is lo que había escuchado en los cuentos. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And what is the genre that you selected? ¿Qué género escogieron? Romantic. Ah, sí. Romantic. Mm, okay. okay. Do you have questions for me before I leave? No. No. Okay. I'm going to ahora let no. you continue. <laughs> ok, see you in one moment. Es, había una vez. Hello. 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 Hello, how are, teacher. how are you doing? ¿Qué tal va esa imagination? ¿Cómo empezar, teacher? Mira, le ayuda a su hijo. Estamos como okay. ellos tienen mucho como empezamos, ah, Ahorita pueden, pueden traer aquí a los niños. Ellos van a tener muchas ideas para la story. Le digo yo a Ana Lilian que cuente la historia que le cuenta a sus niños. Le digo. Eh, ok. Do you have questions for me before I leave? No sé si tienen alguna duda. No. Eh, Ahorita pues están sí, teacher. Ajá. Tell me, Zaira. Todo es una duda. Ay, no. Pero mire qué bueno que ahora sí la, la escucho bien. Se está trabando un poquito no, el video, yo te... pero ya, ya está mejor. Sí, ha mejorado. Es el internet el que no nos está sirviendo mucho. Tiene que llamar ahí sí. a la compañía. Sí, este, en eso estábamos queriendo cambiarlo también porque igual para mí es bien imposible terminar su clase porque tenemos graves mm -hmm. problemas. Sí, si estudian Pero así, bueno, espero que hoy, hoy me deje porque yo ayer por más que intentaba estar presente era imposible. Yes, pero sí le agregué bueno. ahí, oye, en la lista porque sí le hice ah, un mensaje. Sí, sí, sí. Sorry que ya no le contesté. Se me fue, pero sí, sí, yo no, no. que que tenía ese problema. Ok, bueno, Pero entonces gracias, me, voy, me voy a marchar para no distraerles <risa> y, y quitarles la imaginación que tienen. Sí, sí, pero okay. ahorita, lo, ahorita lo hacemos. Chico, ok, ahorita. see you in one moment. Atenches. Atenches. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. What are you talking about? <risa> Is la atenches in the story? Okay. se trata de ganar? Sí. Yes. Ah, okay. So it's a comedy. It's a funny story. Okay. So that's excellent. Do you have questions for me? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Brian. Para decir que se llamaba, tendría que decir. Was or what? Was name. Traten de, de hacerla, no sé si en past tense la van a hacer, como había alguien que estaba. Si es así, va a ser casi que solo yeah, past tense. Como right? había una vez, eso estamos ah, pensando. Okay. Once up. Okay. Les voy a dar, uh, yeah, esa was es once, once upon a time. Algunos están utilizando at the beginning para ya empezar a utilizar las phrases. Once upon, once upon a time. On a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh -huh. name. Mm -hmm. She has a como diría, service. Mm -hmm. 
yes, <laughs> okay, please. but just use your imagination, be creative. Okay. Y después la vamos a mandar ahí a algún canal para ver si se puede hacer película. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you continue. Omar, are you good? No Thank sé si you. tiene alguna duda, Omar, before I leave. No, miss. No, no miss. you're okay. All right, see you. Miren. Hello. María Concepción, Hello. nice to see you again. Let me adiós de no verla. How are you? Um, so, so, but I so, so. Ah, okay. Good to see you. How is the story going? Ya terminaron. You finished. No, estamos construyendo ahorita. Ah, okay. Do you have questions for me before I, I go? Mm, no. no. And what kind of story did you choose? Terror. A terror story. Is there going to be murders? Va a haber muerte. Sí. Ah, ah, okay. So yes, it's a terror story. So yes, mm -hmm. remember the uh, remember that if it's past tense, si va a ser una historia, usualmente va en past tense, right? Así que recuerden de siempre utilizar yeah. eso, past tense, ¿verdad? Cambiar los verbos and, and, and that stuff. Pero sí, ahorita que vi ese comment que envió Arnoldo, veo que que va en past tense. It was discovered that they had killed the cook of the restaurant. Okay. All right, good. Good. Uh, all right, so, me voy a ir entonces. Creo que vamos bien por acá. Okay, I'll see okay. you in, in one moment. Bye bye.
Hi, Galileo. Did you Hi. did you lose the connection? Hi, teacher. Hi. I arrived to my house. What Hi. happened? So it le tocó al final porque me acuerdo que me había dicho I, uh, no. I am need que ser Uber that my um, my que compañeras your classmate ah okay so, that is why entonces hasta ahorita sí es que casi todas viajan pero igual como ya mañana viernes ya se quedaron varias aquí ah okay así okay. que pero ya llega. <risa> ya llegué, ya llegué. Ah, ya llegó. Ah, ok. Yes. Sí. Ya solo lo subo. Ah, ok. Ahí me avisa para que ya le diga en qué, qué estamos haciendo. Ok. <risa> ok, Elena. Sin la T, ajá, hat, a surprise. Porque ella, porque ella es lady, no es girl. Ya <ríe> está señora. Ok, así sería. Surprise. Uh, surprise. Uh, Only es. Una. Yes. Surprise. Surprise. Ah. Surprise. Así está bien entonces. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Y ahí no vamos a poner boyfriend entonces, solo boy. Eh, solo boy puede quedar. En inglés estaba. Surprise. Mm -hmm. um. ¿Sabe, sabe que no hemos incluido un par de palabras si se me ocurre algo Ana Ajá. ¿Sí? de, pon, de poner a, 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 vámonos al inicio de donde diga a the beginning permita for him verdad a the beginning a the beginning near no no in in, in. restaurant in restaurant near the in, eh, no que in no es restaurant. Que... no 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 in the restaurant Near, in the castle, algo así, en un restaurante cerca del castillo. Así incluimos las dos ah, palabras. Qué día. Porque, porque ahorita meter un restaurante ya, ya me hizo Ajá. muy bien. In the restaurant. Ajá. Ajá, ¿Cómo es que se dice? Near, near, near. ¿Y qué? Near, near. 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 Hey, tenemos sorpresa ahí. Ayuda. Hello, Mister. Hi. Uh, just one comment. La historia está como en past tense, así como había una vez una, un castillo. Está en past tense. Ok, solo les voy a dar una recomendación. Yeah. Entonces, los verbos okay. cambian los a past tense. Por ejemplo, donde dice the lady had en past tense. Had, en vez de has, the lady has, va a ir had, que ya had. sería en past tense, ajá. Oh. Y, lo, y ahí donde dice receive, también lo vamos a poner en past tense. Receive. Porque, ajá, ahí lo envié en el chat, receive. Y lo otro in your, in her, si están hablando del teléfono de ella, póngale in her cell phone. Ajá, ahí donde dice your, le ponen in her, ¿verdad? El, el posesivo para ella, el su, pero de ella. Y, ajá. Y ahí creo que dice. For de her, tal, ¿verdad, teacher? In her ¿Mm? cell phone. Surprise for ajá. her. Ajá, for her, si era para ella, ¿verdad? Y, y ahí donde dice, creo que dice de que ella no quería interrumpir. Al final, ¿verdad? Ana. No quería Ajá. contestar Ajá. para nada. ¿Verdad? Aquí, teacher. No, no, eso está ahí bien. Dice Wendy ah, okay. al final, la última, donde dice him. Ahí quedaría ¿Sí? her. Y, y va así, ah, sur, okay. surprise. 
Sur, ah, surprise. Sí, se dice sur, sur, ah, surprise. Sur. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Ajá. Yeah. Okay. Sí. La pronunciación sí es surprise. Surprise. Pero se escribe surprise. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank I you. will let you continue y así ya pues ya. Solo tengan eso en cuenta, ¿verdad? El, el past tense. Si usan verbos en past tense, recuerden de irlos ahí cambiando. When it's okay. necessary, cuando sea necessary. Okay. okay. All right. See you in one moment. Okay. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hola, teacher. Lo dejaron solo, ¿verdad? Solo abandonado. Ya, quizás ya. No, ahorita viene Juan, Car eh, Juan Carlos Galileo. Uh -huh. He had a problem, a connection problem. He came in, but then he disappeared again. Hi, Galileo. Hi, I'm sorry. I, was yes. over. I, I had trouble with my internet. I noticed. I noticed. How I'm is sorry. the story going? Do you have it okay. on a document, Galileo or Juan Carlos? Yeah, we La seguí avanzando. We can, have... can I see it? Uh -huh. There was a, a princess. Yeah, the just beginning. When uh -huh. No va a llorar, teacher. It had trouble. <laughs> she woke up early. You're going well. Va bien. Ajá, yeah, it's going well. We lost time. It's, we lost it's precious okay. time. But Juan Carlos, ajá. Juan Carlos says he continued. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe just before I go, I'm going to give you some feedback about the, about the spelling. There was a prin, princess. There was a princess. And then the castle, around the castle there were beautiful gardens. Ahí donde dice, around the castle there were a beautiful garden. Sería oh, there was, ¿verdad? There was, uh -huh. sí, there ¿verdad? was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque word sería si fuera plural. Muchos, plural. Uh -huh. So ahí, there was a beautiful was and big garden. Y ahí... To begin, ahí quedaría así. To begin. At the beginning. At the, at Ajá, the... sería at, at the beginning, ¿verdad? Si no, tendríamos que poner to begin. Like that. She woke up so early by the verbs. But I like that you are changing the verbs to past tense. Me gusta que, que ya notaron que va en past tense y ahí lo van cambiando. I have yeah. to take the attendance. I have to take the attendance and then we, we can return here. How okay. many how many words do you have? No las han contado. A ver. No, uh, not yet. Almost 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's it's a little bit difficult, right? Because you have to use yeah. everything at the same time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Regresamos para la uh -huh. Yes, yes, please. I'll see you okay. there. I'm sorry, Carlos. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Hello, I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. So let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Ryan Javier. Present. Carlos Antonio. Okay, thank you. Present. Okay, then Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present teacher. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Present, miss. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. Okay. María Elena. I'm here. Okay. Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, Miss. Okay, thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. 
Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, and Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, has anybody finished the story? No sé si habrá alguien que se quiera quedar ya acá, que ya terminó. No. Okay, no, please no, open, no. open the rooms. Open the rooms to, to return. Hi, Jenny, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Eh, no tengo grupo. <laughs> es que me desconecté un momentito que venía de camino. Yes, I imagine. Ya, ya termina casi que cabal con el tiempo de la clase, ¿verdad? Sí. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm going to assign you to, to our room. But let me see. Okay. La voy a enviar a, a room five. Ahí le va a llegar la invite. Thank you. Mm -hmm. La mandaron para acá. Sí. sí. Le, le voy a leer ah, la historia. Sorry. ¿Cómo más han venido? ¿eh? Sorry, la otra? No, no. me equivoqué. This is not ah. the right journey. Sorry. Me equivoqué. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hoy sí. Hi. I came to visit you. Venía uh -huh. a ver cómo iban. Do you have the story? No sé si alguien tiene el document. El document por ahí para verlo. Or not. O no sé cómo lo llevan en notebook. En notebook. Notebook. How many words is, do you have? Is, uh -huh. Este, tenemos que utilizar Zoom, After, Word, Hover. Ajá, como es eh, una story. Como mínimo y. y uh -huh. Yes. Oh, I was going. Tenía que to... ser la historia. De un... I'm sorry, Omar, tell me. Y la historia debía tener como 50, mínimo de 50 palabras, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ajá, y utilizar palabras de secuencia, ¿verdad? Como qué pasó al principio, qué pasó después, qué pasó al final. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ok. ¿Y cómo van? Ya casi terminan. <risa> A la mitad quizás podemos ir como 30 palabras. <risa> Pero ya vamos ahí con la historia. ¿eh? Ok, sí, porque ya creo que ya en unos 5 minutos, ajá, en unos 5 minutos. Oh, unos 5 minutos, 5 minutos. A las 9 okay. y 10. Ajá, por ahí vamos a ir volviendo. Ah, so uh, uh, faltan como 3 como like minutos. minutos. Ajá. Uh -huh. like ok. Five. But continue. Ajá. Thank you. Ah, there it was. Ya vamos a ver si que estas palabras están bien. Ups. Creativa, ya vi. Lo estoy leyendo. No traduce bien ahí. Era bella, bella, vamos a decir. Okay. Hi, Mayra. Hi, there? teacher. Hello. Voy a llegar a la casa. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. We are, ay, sí, ya toda, ni se ha podido cambiar todavía, no, Mayra. Solo me quité la mascarilla y ya, entré. Ah, ok, very responsible. Ok, pues si quiere, eh, se termine de llegar a su casa. Ahorita estamos en una activity y sus classmates vienen en unos five, five to six minutes. Así que si quiere, ahorita termina de, de llegar a su casa, ¿verdad? Y ya nos Pero espera aquí, un ratito. Yeah. 
Ajá, sí, no se desconecte, solo si se quiere terminar. Ahí nos espero un ratito. Ya vamos a estar de regreso acá. Ok. Aplicar a todas. ¿Dónde encuentro eso? Ahí es donde se metió en sonido. Sí. Y luego. No, no hay nada que diga aplicar a todas. Pues una por una. Ajá. One by Ajá. one. Hi, teacher. Este Hello. de Brice. Hi, teacher. Hi. Estamos inventando. Yes. Pero you finish. Ahorita ya solo están prácticamente haciendo la, la PPT, la presentation. Yes. Ah, ok, excelente. Um, in about three minutes we will return just to give you a heads up. En unos tres minutos vamos a volver three to four minutes. Ok. Uh -huh. Just for you to know. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí le da la opción de otro sonido, fíjese. Mm, a este le puse otro. Explosión. No sé qué es. A este es. Sí, el mismo le puse estos dos, ¿verdad? Martillo. Explosión es boom. No, no, martillo, póngale a todos porque es como... Lástima que no hay algo... Mm, a uno no, le flecha. puse brisa y a otro le puse viento. Okay, welcome back. It's time to listen to your stories. So remember, when you read the story, try to read it with that feeling. 
como vamos a contar una historia, vamos a tratar de contarlo con, con feeling, right? Con el sentimiento, puntuación, punctuation, terror, if it is terror, si es romantic, with love. Ok, so let's begin. Eli, Arnoldo, and Maria Concepción, can you share with us your story, please? They selected a terror story. Okay. Eli. It's very custom. In a scary castle, very, very far away, live a very blade. Pierce every morning she had breakfast in the restaurant inside the castle. Then one day in the afternoon, she found a brandy mysterious night. Later it was discovered that they have Kylie the cut of that restaurant. To report the murder, they had to look for the only cell phone in the kingdom that belonged to the king. And finally, after months of investigation and having occurred three more murders, they discovered that the murders was the pretty woman possessed by the spirit called Legion. The end. Finally. Wow, excellent. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think your classmates liked it too. Yo creo que también a sus compañeros les gustó mucho the story, the images, and everything. Thank you very much for the dedication. Okay, let's continue. Galileo and Juan Carlos. They, they wanted to write a love story, right? A romantic story. So this is the opposite yeah. side, not terror, love. Okay, please yeah, continue. May, may, may I share my screen? Please, yes, of course. Okay. Can you read it? Hello. Okay. Romantic story, the princess and the, and the cell phone. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a big castle. Around the castle, there was a beautiful and big garden. At the beginning, her day, every morning, she woke up so early by the girl's songs. Then she visited the sick people in the hospital, nursing homes and other places to help. However, one day someone called her by cell phone asking for help and the lady answered without knowing who he was. One day she accepted to date with the mysterious person at the restaurant. During the dinner, the princess dropped the knife afterwards. Both tried to take the knife and finally they joined their lips and they live happy for the rest of their <laughs> life. <laughs> they joined their lips. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. I can see all the words there. It's very nice to the princess and the cell phone. It has a name, right? Okay, thank you, Galileo, Juan Carlos, and, and Elena, you, you got there later, right? Elena went to supervise you to see how you were doing. Okay, thank you. Yes, Maybe she was. she was the supervisor. I said, Elena, please go ahead, help them. They need more imagination, and she, she went there. But thank you, it's very nice. Okay, now let's continue, Ana, Carlos, and Wendy. What kind of story is it? Romantic too, right? Mm. It's romantic también. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Mez mezcla. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I will start. Oh, hi. Romantic story. 
at the beginning in the restaurant here in the castle, the lady had the romantic dinner with her boyfriend. Uh, next, Wendy. Afterwards, the lady received in her cell phone and a no call. But the lady, she didn't want, she didn't want answer, not to interrupt. But the boy had a surprise for her. Then the surprise was that the call that didn't not answer was a distant relative. Later, he explained that the call is for her in the emotion throughout the, the need and love of load. And finally, as well, the call. Wow, she threw the knife. That is very dangerous. <laughs> It's better balloons or other night, other things. Pero creo que ya de último ya tiremos el knife, right? Pero lo incluyeron en la story. Thank you. Very good. I liked it. Okay, let's continue. Lily, Laura, Zaira, and Jenny. Zaira and Jenny, begin, begin, begin. Hi. <laughs> in the beginning, in a far away, far away town, there was a beautiful castle with a very high tower in which a lady lived who never left her castle. For lake, lake of beauty in this place, there was also a source of crystalline waters that had the power to grant wishes of the lady. But she didn't know it because it was hiding in the forest. Later, at the end of a day, the lady saw herself in the mirror and was very sad to see that she was very ugly. Okay, she decided to go to, go to the source to take her own life, but when she entered the source, sometimes amazing happiness, she became, became the most beautiful woman. Immediately, she, was, she saw her reflection and came out of the water. Screaming, I am beautiful, I am beautiful. In the end, he, I, he felt super happy. She, she, had, she, she felt super ah, okay. happy and decided to go to the best restaurant near the castle and ask her for a knife and for to eat a delicious dish of milk. <laughs> uh -huh, okay, thank you, Laura. Thank you, girls. It is very nice too and very different, right? Very different to the previous stories. So thank you. And the fluency you read, Jenny and Laura, it went very well, very good fluency and pronunciation. Just the one that you see there, that is lack. That is the, the correct way to say it, lack. Okay, okay, thank you. The last story belongs to Brian, Nelson and Omar. They have Latentius and Dilin in the story. So. It's like a comedy story. Okay, you have our attention, guys. Okay, teacher, a ver si no sale. Let's see. <laughs> so is Latentius in the story or not anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yes, ah, okay. But, uh, once upon a time, in Castle lived a lady 
uh, to call it tenches. There is word for most cook called tilling. So let so let me call it of the most famous restaurant in the world. However, nobody has read the phone. After Tilin cut a, a piece of chicken with a knife to serve dinner, they finally cut it one more. Hasta ahí no queda. Okay, so you owe me the end of the story. Me deben ahí el final to see what happens at the end. But thank you, thank you for the story. Okay, it is very pencil. interesting uh -huh. <laughs> and funny at the same time. Thank you. But yes, you did very well. And... Oops, sorry. Uh, just that word, Brian, that I sent by chat, famous. That is the, the correct way to say it, famous. But famous. thank you. Thank you to, to all of you because all of you did very well. I visited you and you were thinking a lot about how to use the words that were there, use the connectors. It went very well. Now we have role plays. And now we are going to practice would would be better. That is the one that we are going to practice. This is the next activity. Create a conversation where someone is helping a friend overcome a problem. Van a crear una conversación. Otra vez van a utilizar su imaginación. It's not about restaurants, no es de un restaurante, pero van a ayudar a un amigo a, a superar un problema. Le van a dar recommendations para que siga adelante. Okay, it could be any type of problems, money problems, relationship problems, family problems, use your imagination, okay? And use words to give recommendations. Y utilizan ahí las palabras que hemos practicado para dar recommendations. Do you have questions before I, I divide you? No? It's clear. Okay, all right. Guys, please try to be ready by 9.45 the most. Por favor, traten de estar listos para máximo 9.45, okay? Or before, or before, pero para que ya lo lleven en mente, para que demos los role plays tonight. Okay, voy a hacer algunos cambios. I'm going to make some changes in the in the rooms. But right now, sorry, um, cancel the, okay, ya lo cancelé yo, sorry. Okay, open the invite and then I will change, make some changes. And Mayra, I'm going to, I'm going to assign you to a room.
Yo le, yo le digo. Bueno. Podría ser más. Y luego le. I have a problem. Hello. Yes. Pero lo vamos, lo vamos a hacer como una conversación o lo vamos a hacer solo así como planteado, nada más. A conversation. Ah, okay, okay. Ajá. Sí, es un role play. Sí, si sí, no tenemos problemas, somos personas felices. <risa> Uy, no, eso está difícil de creer. Everyone has problems. Van a hablar entonces del neighbor, van a hablar del vecino y, y le arreglan la vida, la vida al vecino. <risa> es familiar o de trabajo y nosotros le, le damos uh -huh. ánimo, cosas así. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Porque es como que un amigos, ok, friends talking, or brother, siblings, family, ¿verdad? Porque no son solo dos. So you have to be, you have to find a way to talk about that. Uh -huh. But yes, in the form of a conversation. Utilizando el would, would be. Ajá, sí. Y si quieren, pueden utilizar también my like or my want, ¿verdad? Porque ya hemos visto varios. Así que podrían utilizarlos también. Should, could. That's also okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thanks, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. More questions, Eli or Omar? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go in that case. I am throwing a big, a big problem. Carlos, hi, teacher. Hi. I'm Ella visiting you for problema. one moment. Thank you. What is the big problem? <laughs> He's alcoholic. Alcoholic. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. So you are going to give him some recommendations to, to fix yes. or to solve the problem. Yeah. Solve the problem. Yeah. They say, ah, my friend, I'm throwing a big problem. Uh, Drinking more. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel, my friend? What is the problem? problem uh, let me know. No me a let me know. Know it. Your problem. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Galileo. Maybe you yeah. could change where it says I am through when it okay. is I'm going through. I'm going okay. through a big I'm problem. Mm -hmm. Through through. I, I send it uh -huh, in the chat. Yes. Okay. And the problem la M. The world is changing my, my type. Okay. What do you feel, my friend? Let me know the problem. And maybe I can help you. Be able to help you. Ok, y aquí empiezan las lágrimas. <risa> ok, my friend. No, eh, hey, let me know what do you think, Carlos. I am typing, but... Uy, yo no soy, yo no sure soy hebreo. You are, if you yo no are, sé de qué está hablando. Agree. No soy alcohólico. <risa> <risa> but... Eh, Um, you... Kevin, digo, ne... no puedo dejar la bebida. I, am I can't. And that situation can uh, bring, no, brought. This is our bring is a irregular verb. Mm -hmm, it's broad. 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 Te estás refiriendo que te trajo. Uh, eh, mm. Me trajo de, de gracia, no sé cómo decir. 
Mm, maybe you can say troubles or disgraces. Disgraces is that one. Mm -hmm. Troubles is like problems. problems. But yeah. disgrace, oh, that's, yeah. that's the one you needed. What do you think, Carlos, teacher? Okay, my friend, I am an alcoholic and that situation brought troubles to me during my whole life. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, continue, you're doing well. Just remember, 9.45, top, that, to finish, okay. okay? Have that in mind. Okay, okay. see you. Thanks. I, don't, I do not have no money. No, it. I don't. Don't. Come on. I do not. Sin elite. Sin elite. Me no me alcanza el dinero. Aquí. Sí. I, I, I do, do not. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I do uh -huh. not have. No, sí. después, antes de no. How? De I do not have. No, no, no. Uh -huh. I do Así. not have. Ahí siempre el not. Ah, ya. Yeah. I do not uh -huh. have. Acá. Pero no sería en ese yeah. caso haven't. No, I haven't. Yo no tengo. No, cualquiera de los dos. No, no. Uh, like when this is. I don't. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have, have or I do not have. Mm -hmm. And no money. I don't have. Mm -hmm. And no money. Ay, ¿cómo dice? Y tiene muchos pagos pendientes. Pagos que no es bills. Bills o algo así. Bills. Bills. Pagos. Muchos pagos pendientes, ¿verdad? Bills. Pay, es como paying payments. Ah, no, sí está bien. Pagos atrasados es bills. payment. Ajá. Late. Uh -huh. You can ah, use a half late payment. Late payment. Or debt. Uh -huh. También debt. So it's como deudas. I have a lot of uh, debt. Ah, uh -huh. debt. Teacher, I don't see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> debt. Ahí dice tengo. I have. Como tengo muchas deudas. Muchos pagos. I have, uh -huh. Aquí sería, sí. I have. I have. I have. Yes. Much late payment. Many. Uh -huh. Many porque much Many. es cuando no podemos contar algo. Uh -huh. Many con cosas que sí pueden. Uh -huh. Sí. Many. 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 Uh -huh. right. Ahí me aconseja. Vaya. <ríe> bueno, vamos a ver, vamos a comenzar. ¿Quién tiene? Ah, Ana primero, después, después aconsejo yo. Uh -huh. okay. right. Ahorita sería como si tiene algunos, uh, como serían como algunos artículos que pueda vender, no sé. Uh -huh. Uh, do you have? Uh, uh -huh. Acuérdense que tenemos que usar el good. No sé uh, podrías. Uh, sería cool. Cool. Así verdad. Cool. Cool. You have. Pod tú podrías. No. You. You could. Ay. Cool. You. No. You could. Porque estamos no, sería... Ah, sí, no es una pregunta, no, tiene razón. No, no, no. You who have some son articles. 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 Para de vender, que... ah, vender sal, ¿verdad? Ah, vender. to sell. To sell. To sell. Ah, sí. Pero to sell. ahí, ¿qué well. quieren decir? Como, como vender artículos. Puede vender cosas. Algunos artículos que ah. ya no utilicen. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, article se toma casi que literal para artículos de lectura. Mejor pueden usar ah. products, podrían usar products, o teens. ¿Qué me dices? Items. Ajá, en esos podrían usar. Ajá. Cosas que no ocupe. Pero, uh -huh. ajá. Tú podrías vender cosas, mejor pongamos. Ajá, you could sell. You could sell something. Ahí es sell, así como lo envío ahí. You could sell. Ah, uh sell. -huh. But you're going well. Me gusta que no están usando Google Translate. Because that way you practice more, right? You think more about it. But you're going well. It's going good. Just remember, we still have... Five, five more minutes. Recuerden a las 9.45, okay. time is over. Okay. Okay. okay but continue, okay. you're doing well. See you in, in a couple of minutes. Dice... Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, Just one question. Si lo están haciendo de manera de conversation. Ah, solo, no. solo escribir Ajá, la lista. Ay, tenemos que empezar. Good morning. Yo te recomiendo. <ríe> yes, it was a conversation. Oh, good Ajá. evening, Carlos. Pero no sé si lo van a poder ya cambiar porque ya falta poco. Y sorry que no vine antes porque estaba con otros rooms. Pero, ok. Bueno, síganlo haciendo así. Ajá. Déjenos de último, lo terminaremos, Ticha. No, no, es así. Síganlo así. Pero ajá, era una conversation, una conversation. Ay, like. sí, ahí nos pusimos ese cuidado, Ticha. It's okay. Ay, All right. Um, do you have questions? Oh, bueno, tal vez lo que sí pueden hacer es, porque sí veo aquí que les recomiendan, ¿verdad? Pero traten de ponerlo utilizando entonces what? El it would, would, be good. could, might, want, ajá, uh -huh. para que usemos esos, entonces, porque esos eran los que, los que estamos practicando. It's correct, it's correct. I just want you to practice okay. the other words. Solo quiero que practiquen eso, eso más. Uh -huh. Tal vez eso sí lo pueden cambiar, ¿verdad? Los, los, las recommendations, pero ponerlas con, con would, would be better. Like sleep early, como it would be a good idea. If you sleep early, that it would be a good idea to sleep early. Entonces, traten solo okay. de los, las recommendations, darlas con would or could or might want, like. Okay, so I'm going to let you continue. Okay, uh -huh. thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Ajá, ajá, lo que hemos hecho, de ahí puede aparecer. Uh, time later, time later, o sea, tiempo después, va, despuésito, mm -hmm. como despuésito, time later, este, um, eh, nos encontramos, que uh -huh. sería Mayra, Mayra, uh -huh. eh, hi, María Elena, Eh, y me pregunta que si continúo buscando para mamar el auxilio. Sorry, did you talk to me? No. Una pregunta. Ah, yes. Solo vamos a decir ahora, teacher. Yes. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo van? Porque lo vemos así como bonito, eh. no sé, como en el. No sé, la compu, por eso. No, haciendo ah, el No, it's okay. Traten de hacerlo así como una conversation, sí, sin leerlo. O sea, lo van a leer, ¿verdad? Pero en su nota. It's okay. Uh -huh. yes. sí, Tal yo... vez les puedo dar two more minutes, porque a las 45 vamos a terminar, pero voy a ex extenderlo dos minutos más, así que todavía hay cuatro. Okay? Four more minutes. Do you have questions? No sé si tienen alguna duda de cómo decir algo, ponerlo. Pues lo hemos hecho como bastante básico, no sé It's si okay. se lo le... Mejor todavía no, si quiere, para que sigan este, elaborándolo. 
para que no se les consuma más okay. su tiempo y ya, ya lo escucho yo ya todo. Pero por eso, ¿verdad? Si no, con todo gusto se los escucho. Ok, entonces las dejo para no distraerlas. Y eh, a las 9.47 vamos a volver al main room. Ok, see you in one moment. Okay, so now that you are back, let's listen to your conversations, okay, the recommendations for your friends' problems. Okay, so let's begin with Galileo and Juan Carlos. I think Galileo is alcoholic and Juan Carlos is going to give him recommendations, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? I'm good. What about you? I'm a friend. I'm going through a big problem. What do you feel, my friend? Let me know your problem and maybe I'll be able to, to help. help you. Okay, my friend. I am alcoholic and that situation broke trouble during my whole life. I should to give you an advice. Please let me know. It will, it will be good to let the drinks. However, it will be better if you came to the church to me. That we're going to find to God's mercy and I am sure your life will change. Sounds good. I am need to help. And 
and I trust that God can rest of my life. Me too. Tomorrow at noon, I am going to pick up for you at 4 p.m. It would be good if we will see at the church. It would be better if I pick up for you at 4 p.m. Okay, I agree. I will be waiting for you. Thanks. I will you see I will see you. God bless you. <laughs> wow. So okay. you're going to go to church with Juan Carlos. That is the solution, the best solution. Thank you. Uh, the best solution. Okay. Thank I you. have some comments, but I'm going to give you those comments at the end. Okay. We will continue with the next okay. the next group for now. But I have taken notes and I will tell you either today or tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Juan Carlos and Galileo. Now let's continue with Brian, Francis, well, Ellie, and Omar. Teacher, den unos, unos minutitos, solo lo están okay. pasando en la compu. Okay. Please, teacher. Let's see. Carlos, Laura, and Zaira, could you, could you change the recommendations? So, so. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Can you, can you show me what you have until this moment? Or if you want to, you can send it to me later. Or no sé si me lo quieren enviarte después with the finished. Cuando después, no teacher, lo vamos a arreglar. OK. Pero solo, el, solo cambien lo de, de las recommendations, lo de la conversation, sí. así ya, ya no lo cambian. Ya no. That's wow. OK. Uh -huh. ah, bueno, Carlos, no terminamos, ¿verdad? De ponerle el, el good bill a todas. No, no. <ríe> es que lo dejamos a media, picho, todo. Ah, se, se, okay. se, se, lo, se lo muestro rapidito. OK. Uh -huh. Lo, solo lo tenemos así, pero empezamos a hacer las recomendaciones. Yo decía, helping our, our friends. The problem uh -huh. is the fall asleep in class. We uh -huh. recommend it are the followed. Uh -huh. If it would be good to sleep early, is possible. Uh -huh. Or if it would be better to sleep early, is possible. If it would be better to use the cell phone very night or watch TV. Pero ahí creo que es, no debería de usar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ese creo que no está bueno. Ajá. Ajá, que... because it's not ah, recommendable, el, el, que el no el es no, recomendable. Ajá. No, no, yo, el no nada más nos faltó en, la, en el verbo. <risa> Solo que pusieran it wouldn't. Y lo es teníamos así, good. pero dudamos, teacher. Como que no sería recomendable, Dios. Okay. Uh -huh. Usar el self, ok. Pero, pero lo, lo vamos a corregir, teacher. Ok, ok, change it y luego me lo envían. Yo ahí ya lo veo un poquito más. Ok, thank you, thank you very much. Let's continue. Lili, Elena, Mayra, please. Nosotros también nos quedamos a medias, teacher, pero Wait. no sé si le Tell me, ajá, please. Um, start Ana. Uh -huh. The problem is Ana Lilian doesn't have a job. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello, Mayra. Hello, Mayra. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Well, but because I I don't have a job and I have a lot of dates. You should need search a job and 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 search that need do job. I know, but I can find I don't have many options. Thinking it would be better if introduce you to a friend. How can I help you? Ten later. Hi, Maria Elena. 
I have a question. Hi, Maria. It's uh, great to see you. Ask me. You are looking for a secretary? Yes. Bye. <laughs> okay. But it was going very well. Me gusta como lo llevaban. It, it sounded well. Thank you, Mayra, Lily, and, and Elena. Y escuché también que utilizaron should. Solo le voy a hacer ese pequeño cambio, Mayra. You should look for a job. That would be better. Y escuché también que uh, utilizaron would be, would be good or would be better. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Ready, Ali? teacher. Okay. Ready. So please continue. Hi, friend. I'm good to see you. Get to see you too. How are you? We are fine. And, and you, Francis? Mm, more or less. Why? I have a problem in my family. I need to help you with a opinion. We fight with my sister every sister. Every day, and I don't want to live in my house anymore. Would be good to converse with sister. It will be better if they seek professional help. Thank you, guys. Only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Ahí hay unos que están mal escritos, mm -hmm. pero es que el autocorrecto. Ajá, uh -huh, I know. Yeah, because it says I have a problem in my family. So like Spanglish, right? Uh -huh. So it's okay. And good to see you. Good to see you as el, el, el good. como greeting. Good. Good to see you. Esa es una manera de hacerlo. But thank you, thank you, Eli. I know, yo sé que iba ya haciéndolo rápido, and that is why you <laughs> couldn't change a lot. Okay, let's continue with Anna, Wendy, and Jenny, please. Okay, teacher. My friend has a financial problem. Um, hello, my friend. How are you, girls? Hello, I am okay. I'm bad. I have a financial problem. My salary is insufficient. I do not have enough money and I have many late payments. Uh, you could sell some time that you don't use. You go ask for a loan, a loan at the bank. We could lend you money to business. It is a good idea. You help me so much. Thank you, friends. Mm -hmm. It is a pleasure to help you. Excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. It was short, but a lot of recommendations and everything went natural. Thank you very much. Okay, and maybe just one change. You, I could lend you money for, for your business. That will be the correct preposition. And insufficient, that is the correct, uh -huh, the correct pronunciation. But thank you. Thank you very much. Arnoldo, Concepcion, and Nelson, could you continue? Okay.
And uh, the problem is filled to the vaccines. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Hi, Nelson and Mary. Nice to see you again. I need your help. What is your problem? Tell us about. I have a problem as a child. I'm filled to the vaccine. Uh, it would be good to be a uh, cural. It would be better to take a pill for relax. I don't know. It's very hard for me. It would be good if I am going with you. It would be better if we are going together for the vaccine. Vaccine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vaccine, I'm sorry. Really? Sounds great. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Okay. Thank you. All together, right? That way you're not going to be scared. Okay, thank you very much for the presentation too. You did very well. Just before I take the attendance, Nelson, hoy le toca su private session. Se va a poder quedar. Eh, quizás no, mis. Okay. So <laughs> in that case, algo mal de, de salud okay, ahí. that's all right. Then can you stay tonight, Oscar? Oscar, can you stay? Hello. Hello, can you stay tonight in the private session? Okay, no problem. Okay. So I'm going to take the attendance really quick. Then let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present, Present teacher, okay. aquí estoy. Okay, Jose Arnoldo. Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. <laughs> okay, Jose Arnoldo. Jose Present. Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here. Okay. Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Okay. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira, Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present and teacher. Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, thank you everyone. So I hope you can rest a lot and see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Good night, see everyone. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, bitch. Sorry, <laughs> Don't worry. If not, I help you. Si no, yo ahí le ayudo. It's okay. Sí, ahí está. Que me está dando problema la configuración. Ah, okay. Bye. Okay, one moment. Okay, Oscar. How is the connection? Ya está mejor su. More or less. Connection. Sí, a veces pasa. No, no quiere el internet. But sí. right now I hear you. Ahorita sí lo escucho bien. Okay, sí. Cambié la conexión. And how's work? No le he tocado muy pesado en estos días, madrugar o desvelar. Más o menos, más o menos. Ah, okay. Fíjense que tengo una duda. Me ha quedado uh -huh. una duda con el uso de it would be uh -huh. good if. Uh -huh. En su momento usted dijo que usábamos un pasado. Yes. Pero después puso otra forma. Uh -huh. Sí, igual y it would be good if, pero puso sentence. Subject plus verb. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí sí me... Una me aclaración. Cruzaron, ok. Me cruzaron los cables. Sure. Bye. Le voy a aclarar eso. Entonces está así, ¿verdad? It... Would be good. Y puede ser también con better. Lo vamos a hacer con it would be good. If y luego, o sea, 
vamos a utilizar acá una sentence. Ahora, esa sentence puede ir de dos maneras. Puede ir en past tense o puede ir en present tense. Aquí. Present tense or has tense. Okay. Now, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Utilizamos past tense okay, cuando es como hypothetical, una, una idea o, o una recomendación con algo hipotético, imaginario. Y puede usar present tense cuando su, su recommendation es como más real. Okay. Entonces le voy a mostrar acá. Um, I am, y le voy a dar este problem. I am fat. Okay. Now you want to give me a recommendation. It would be good. Y utilizamos if y luego va una sentence. If you go to the gym. It would be good if you go to the gym. Ahí está la sentence, ¿verdad? Pero está en present tense. Because it's something real, ¿verdad? Algo que es probable. Pero también puedo utilizarlo con algo como hipotético o imaginario y real. En presente, en presente eh, puede ser más imperativo. No. Como, como de comando. Ajá. Yes. Yes, de hecho, cuando utilizamos it would be good, it would be better, es como strong advice, como un, un, una recomendación bastante fuerte o imperativa, no. como usted dice. Ok. Ajá. Y aquí voy a poner lo mismo. Ok, it would be good if, y ponemos otra cosa. If you... If you could lose the weight with no exercise. <clears throat> okay, and this is something unreal. Y esto ya caería como en algo que no es muy real, ¿verdad? Porque estoy como haciendo algo hipotético o imaginario. La que sería bueno si lo pudiera perder, pero sin hacer uh -huh. ejercicio. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, entonces así. Así que así es como, como funciona. Con present tense en past tense. No, analizar las cositas en el momento de hablar uh -huh. es el Ajá, yes, that is the difficult part. That is why I try to give you a lot of practice. Yo por eso trato de darles mucha práctica para que Ustedes practiquen eso de ya verlo ya en el momento de, de hablarlo. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's otra, the way it works. Otra situación, la que me quedo es con el bulón. Uh -huh. Entonces, esto prácticamente siempre va a ser como una pregunta. Siempre, siempre. Repeat, please. Siempre lo vamos a utilizar en forma de pregunta. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. no. Wouldn't be better to have a job. This. O sea, un ejemplo que usted puso. Wouldn't be better to have a job. Ah, ok. Para recommendations, yes. Si está dando una recomendación, Oscar, sí. En, en forma de pregunta, sí. Vamos a utilizarlo como, como wouldn't. Porque podemos utilizarlo en otras maneras, pero ya lleva como otros, otros significados. Así que, ajá, wouldn't, okay. en forma de question. Si lo utiliza en una pregunta, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good if you eat a lot. This is a, a negative statement. It wouldn't be good if you eat a lot. Mm, no sé, no se escucha, se escucha como, porque es como no sería bueno si comes mucho. Pero 
casi no utilizamos y wouldn't así como Escuché para no recomendar. Salvadoreño, ¿eh? Ajá, entonces es como ya si es negativo es como it's not a good idea o esta este que creo que todavía no lo han estudiado, ¿verdad? No me acuerdo que esté en el programa antes, pero está have, have better. Have better es como el negativo para recomendaciones negativas, como, como el mejor, mejor no haga esto, como que yo le diga, Oscar, mejor no salga, no salga de su casa. Si yo le digo eso, automáticamente la mente piensa en algo negativo, ¿verdad? como algo no, ¿por qué? What's going on? Tiene un, una connotación negativa. Entonces está ese, ese had better, pero creo que todavía... No, no lo han visto, no, ¿verdad? No, no, eh, no, perdón, no. es had, had better. Pero wouldn't, así, así en, en, en una negative sentence para no recomendaciones, algo no recomendable, eh, is not very common, no mucho. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Ok, creo que tras de eso, creo que estamos bastante, bastante aceptable con lo que tenemos. Okay. Ahí, ahí acostumbrándolos al, al ¿cómo se llama? a las palabras nuevas de restaurante pero... mm, yeah, a lot, right? hay bastantes y sí. todavía falta, faltan más no, More. Tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. but next no. week Ajá, ahorita todavía no next week we start with more ¿Cuándo Pero, teníamos que presentar el Milter? Eh, this, ajá, this Friday, tomorrow. Pero ahorita sí ya lo pueden tomar. Ya, ajá, ya. Porque ahorita ya estamos en review of the Teams ah, Web okay. Study. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto, entonces. No. Ok, Oscar. So in that case, we're going to stop here. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.